Scientists have been waiting for a long time for a special move-in today at Robarts Research Institute on the Western Campus. Here's Crystal with today's newsmaker. Thanks, George. Researchers at Robarts Research at the University of Western Ontario were giddy with excitement today as a massive piece of equipment integral to imaging the brain arrived in a boat from England this week and was delivered this morning. This giant crane was called on to make research history at Robarts Research Institute today. The crane was responsible for installing this seven Tesla MRI magnet, one of only three of its kind in the world. The magnet is the strongest in Canada and consequently weighs three times as much as any other imaging equipment, weighing in at almost 30 tons. They had to uncrate the, crane, uh, the machine first and then uh, move it in, hook the crane up to it, lift it over, and now it has to be rolled into the building and then let down into a pit. Bob Widowis is the superintendent of construction here and has had to coordinate the effort to bring this precious but extremely heavy piece of equipment into its new home here at the Center for Functional and Metabolic Mapping at Robarts. This is a specialized thing, but this is the fourth one I've put in here at Robarts. Wow. So it's just old hat to you now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Woodowus and his team were also responsible for bringing in this magnet in the same wing at Robarts only six weeks ago. Research technicians Joy Williams and Adam McLean have been testing this MRI over the last few weeks and demonstrated its function for our cameras today. Yeah, through the corpus callosum, and then they branch up to the rest of the uh, areas of the brain. So we'll bring these high-resolution images of the brain show what this machine is capable of, and the new one brought in today will be able to produce even more precise images. It's two and a half times stronger than anything currently at Robarts, and six times stronger than what's used in a hospital setting. Both the new MRI and this one are specifically designed to image the brain and its function. And that gives you more signal, and with that signal you can do lots of things, of course, and so you can make your images faster, or you can make them with higher spatial resolution. And uh, in a disease like Alzheimer's, for example, where you can actually only diagnose it after the patient dies, and the brain goes to pathology, you can actually now see the Alzheimer's plaques in the patient, and we think actually early on, and so as a diagnostic tool, it's going to be absolutely revolutionary. Menon is the Canada Research Chair in Functional and Molecular Imaging and says this new technology will allow researchers to not only look at brain diseases like Alzheimer's, but also a whole list of neurological disorders. We have a lot of specialization in areas like schizophrenia, post-traumatic stress disorder, so neuropsychiatric diseases. Uh, we do a lot of work in MS, Alzheimer's, uh, we'll be moving into areas in Parkinson's and Huntington's and so on. And uh, we also study the normal human brain and that's the benefit of MRI, it's a non-invasive technique. You can grab a student off the street and put them in the magnet and see how their brain works. This new magnet was funded by the Ontario Ministry of Research and Innovation and has the potential to attract worldwide research interest to Robarts. So locally and, and within uh, southwestern Ontario and certainly all the way into Toronto and Queen's University and places like that, uh, as well since it's the only such machine in Canada, we expect researchers from all over Canada who will come and use it, just as uh, the older four Tesla machine that we had uh, attracted people, in fact, from all over the world. <laughs> this is really exciting. And we've been waiting uh, 18 months for this magnet to arrive since the day we ordered it. And uh, so that's, that's quite a wait. One of a kind usually costs a lot of money. What was the price tag on this one? Well, the item actually retails for about $10 million, but because of the relationship that Robarts has with the supplier, they actually got a bit of a deal on it. And when will it start to be in use? Well, Dr. Menon told me that it takes a while for it to get installed, then they have to do testing, so they're figuring three or four months before they can actually do research with the machine. Fascinating. Thanks, Crystal.